guys, True Knight here. So tonight I want to go over um, Manadium in the new format. I know, post Baron Ban and uh, <clears throat> all that. So um, things really change. I'm seeing a lot of players starting to pick it back up in Pladium as the preferred combo deck. Um, Infernoble is kind of like non-existent. You have a lot of people playing it just because of popularity, but um, a lot of people are preferring this Mana Diem deck over uh, Infernoble as a combo deck right now. So um, it's very niche, very basic. Um, I'm not really teching in anything. I don't main deck this by any means. So um, forgive my knowledge base on it, but let's get into it. So. Uh, three Rium Heart, um, three Samsara, three Scareclaw, three Meek, and two Visas. So, nothing really changes there, guys. Um, I think these are good ratios you want to run because you always want to see these. So, uh, three Peaceful, two Primitive. Uh, I do run just one Obsession and one Imaginings. I don't choose to do two one. I'd rather play more non-engine, so yeah. And then two arrival and one refrain. So um, that's it for the Mana Diem engine itself. <clears throat> uh, it is a 41 card list, so non-engine slash engine. <laughs> uh, three Fender, one uh, Scareclaw, and then three Ash. Three Ghost, two Effect Wheeler, two Talents, and three Emperor. So this could be um, pretty much any hand trap you want. I just chose to go with Wheeler. So. Again, like I said, 41 card, nothing crazy. Uh, for extra, I am running two Lightheart, one SP, the Cross Sheep. And the Apo as my links. Um, oh, uh, running the Typhoon. Uh, just got uh, the Armitara. Uh, Excel and Dispater, of course. I chose to run this guy. I think he's pretty cool going second. It's one. Um, that's the Baron replacement spot right there. Uh, I am running the next best thing to Baron is Chicho. Or oh, I'm sorry, Chengin. <laughs> uh, and then Crimson Dragon, of course. And I don't play the lock with Calamity King, I just play two Vicious. So. Um, Crimson solely brings out Dispater pretty easily. So that's it for this deck. I think it's overall pretty strong. Uh, I like it as a combo deck. I don't like it as much as Infernoval just because of my comfortability. I know Infernoval 10 times more than I know this deck, so I'm ultimately going to swing towards that deck just because of knowledge base alone. But um, I think this deck is actually strong in this format. So um, I would rank it like a solid tier 2 deck. Um, Definitely a step down because it was a tier one deck last format, um, but it's definitely been pushed down to tier two. So, um, but still holds its own weight. It can play a, no a lot of non-engine and a lot of adversity. So you could put in things like droplets. Um, you could take these out and play like all board breakers, enemy controller, things of that nature. You know, book of moon, book of eclipse. That's a lot of things that a lot of people are sleeping on because those cards are actually pretty strong right now. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a fun deck. Definitely nothing that I'd have the confidence in playing, but pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I would appreciate it if you could share it with your friends. So um, be on the lookout for more deck profiles. Uh, I have already posted like an Infernoble Knight, so it's a little. Uh, we'll have a Vanquish Soul, um, did a Tempi deck, so any kind of feedback, like 
hey true can you do this deck profile or that deck profile or can you do test hands or something like that um really whatever you guys want to see more of i'll try and stop what i'm doing throughout the week and make a, a video on that so um goes a long way with likes and subscribes so appreciate it guys be kind be respectful and i'll see you guys in the next one peace